For now, though, do we need to go any further? No, we need to, we need to basically get into this stuff, I think, uh, is what we're supposed to be doing. I think. Yeah, avoid destroying critical supplies and neutralize all targets. So, you know what? I'm going to keep this Overwatch. I think this is an okay Overwatch position. Um, I don't know where the rest of those guys are right now, but I don't think it matters right this second. So let's move in a little bit. So if we can get any more stuff here, we're going to do a Grimmin heal on Sean while he's uh, kind of injured and, and broken and stuff. Going to wait for that heal to finish before we pick him up because that could cause a problem to the game. Could crash or something, who knows. Um, but I think it's going to be okay. There we go, carry unit. So Miney, <laughs> this is basically your job now, unfortunately. Um, but you are the weakest link in the, in the team um, because you're still a recruit. But you've been, you've been promoted now, which, which is good. That means you're going to be able to help us out. So let's go ahead and move you. Keep you we'll keep you back a little bit. <clears throat> I agree. Uh, and Moose is here as well, and he can move up to here. I think we're going to have to go into this, this compound here. I think this is where we're supposed to be going. I can't tell for sure. Let's just pop a quick overwatch on from here, just in case. Uh, and then in Miney... Do you have to put down the unit each turn? No, no, no. You just have to use the set your second turn. Uh, we'll pop you just sort of like in this little corner bit here, so you're reasonably safe. He says, and then there'll be like a million units over here. No, <laughs> it looks like it's okay. <laughs> That's it, you're just going to sort of hang down there for a second. That's going to work out nicely. Uh, yeah, Miney is pretty hench. She's really, she's really taking care of business, which is great. <laughs> um, is there anywhere else that you can... Oh, wow, okay. Reynald's looking at this this tower over here, and he's thinking, hey, you know what? That looks like a really cool place to go and live. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Get him over there. Uh, it's just this is all the stuff that we can't afford to get damaged. So we'll be moving up, moving through. There might just be like... Oh, here we go. We found the last of the units. Okay. Reynold has managed to uncover them. They're going to move into cover. Uh, and what we essentially need to do now is try and not get anything damaged. Um... Which is more difficult than it sounds. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's fine. We can do that. So, Boogie here is going to uh, go for a shot. 39, 65, or 58. I don't think the 65% shots is in range of anything that we can't blow up. So, let's do that. <laughs> Actually, was a good shot. Not a kill, but a, a good amount of damage nonetheless. What we're going to do here is we're going to get a money to leave Sean here. Because we're going to need the support. You've dropped him over the... Miney, that is not... That's not where you should be putting people. What are you doing? Oh, God damn it. Going to Overwatch. Um, right, okay. Can we get up enough to be able to put an Overwatch down? Or are we going to be... No, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, let's go ahead and put you into that position, Moose. That's our turns over. Let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> you could break anything not glowing, apparently. Now, this is what the lizards do. They will grab you from any position, uh, above or below or whatever, and they will hold on to you. So now, unfortunately, Reynold is in a really bad position. Imani's Overwatch, though. She's managed... She kills him! What a shot, Imani! Perfect! Actually managing to completely KO that guy whilst he was trying to run in and stab and stun one of our guys. Overwatch has been going in. What we now need to do is take out this lizard so he lets go of the sniper before the sniper dies. Uh, and to do that, we're going to have to probably take a risk. Here we go. Oh, I forgot about the Overwatch from that Lancer. It's a miss, though, so it's okay. Hopefully he won't panic because of that. Is he happy? No, he's happy. Okay, thank God for that. Uh, right, fire weapon. We've got 34% chance for a hit, but if we can get the hit, we will get the sniper free. <clears throat> Luckily, we actually got a shot there really nicely. Our sniper, now we can also move him as well, which is great. We're going to go ahead and flank this uh, Lancer here. Oh, he's not a Lancer, he's just a regular grunt dude. Okay, let's just take him out. 91% chance for a hit, should be successful. Yes! That's exactly it! <laughs> oh, fantastic. It's, it it kind of does look like XCOM 1, um, but... The, th they've, the things that they've changed really, really needed to be changed. Uh, they've done a really good job on actually managing to make it a bit um, more kind of like consistent. But uh, I don't know, it, de it depends. 
on how much you've played XCOM One to, to like notice the difference between the two. Carry on watching for a bit, Mech. I'm sure you I'm sure you'll see the, the differences that, that are in the game as we go. But that was a good shot. There we go. Perfect for lightning hands there. All hostiles down. Area is secure anyway. That's the last guy we needed to take care of. And pray for gaming. It's happy we're not whispering today, <laughs> which is good to hear. Um, it does. Angry at me. It, it feels. It's 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 hard to put into words because that sounds really weird. But genuinely, it feels more like solid. A lot of the time when you were doing like moves and stuff in XCOM One, it was really disconnected, and it kept on like doing weird sort of uh, movements and stuff. And whenever you tried to control your units, it, there wasn't enough consistency on it. And also, you can't do what I'm doing there, where I'm sending a, a unit off to start running. I'm hitting tab and I'm going to the next unit while that one's still running. Couldn't do that in XCOM 1. Uh, or at least not in the version that I played anyway. So yeah, it's definitely a lot better. But a nice successful mission there. So well done everybody. Good team, good team. Good to see us all working hard here. We need to make uh, Big Barry the Bastard and Shenanigans as a couple of our recruits here. We have a gravely wounded uh, Sean and sadly a uh, wounded Hattrick as well. Um, but Sean is back as well. You guys were kind of like worried about the fact that <laughs> I didn't pick him up at that point. Um, but it's fine. Because the game ended automatically without us needing to go to an evac point, they go and pick him up anyway. If we had like abandoned the mission or whatever, we would have needed to go and pick him up. So it's okay. But anyway, we have got a couple of uh, promotions to do. Um, Moose has got a promotion here to either unleash a volley of bullets at your target's cover, which damages or destroys the cover itself, or suppression... Um, which just kind of like ruins their ability to do anything. So I'm going to go for suppression. We're going for, as I said before, Moose is our like hardcore offensive guy. He, he's working really, really well. And actually like having the ability to do suppression as well as Shred, I think will work out quite nicely for him. We've also got to f now find out what Imani is doing uh, and what exactly her ability is. Actually, is a sharpshooter. Imani, you're a new sniper. Congratulations. Isn't that awesome? Um, so welcome to our team, Imani. You might actually be becoming the sniper for the team right now because, sadly, after like six or seven consistently good missions, uh, Raynon is, is now uh, out of action for a while. So uh, we might need you to uh, step it up. Blade Master... Um, the same as what we're doing with uh, with Stabby here. I mean, the alternative is we could keep this soldier concealed and like try to uh, use like the the shadow step kind of stuff. But I th I just think the Blade Master is just so much better, especially if we're buying these new swords as well today. Because um, I kind of think that that's, gonna, that's the way we're going to do it. Div Genie, um, thank you for joining us, my friend. I I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. See you next time. Thanks for uh, chatting with us as well. It seems like we've uh, we're kind of jumping up in the in the viewers as well right now. So uh, hello everybody. My name's Kaf. I run a YouTube channel called The Cast, and I also stream every now and again. Um, I was on the Yogscast live stream uh, for the Christmas charity. That's literally the last live stream I did was for, for, uh, for charity on the Yogscast Jingle Jam. Um, but it's good to see you all joining us today for a bit of XCOM 2 action. Man, what a mission. Okay, so we've got ourselves a load of alien allies. That's what we needed to make those swords, don't forget, for our rangers. Um, Illyrium Core is good to go. Viper Corpse and everybody is all doing well, actually. Even 113 supplies being brought home as well. And a Viper Optopsy available for us in our research as well, which is ideal. So, the best thing for us to do now would probably be to... We still need to wait for these two machines to be built. Uh, do we have any engineers? That's still being cleared, but it's 19 days away, which is a bit of an annoying thing. Um, so we'll have to leave that for now, but that's okay. The cache data crypt encryption is happening as normal. We can go ahead and build a couple of these arc blades. Oh, just one, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't want nanoscale vests. I'm going to skip those completely. Really don't need to worry about those at all. We could go for med kits and stuff like that, but for right now I think the grenades are coming in handy too much, so I'm going to stick with them. Um... Yeah, I think that's that's probably what we're going to do. Crusaders, uh, apparently, well, that's that's it. And another XCOM 2 stream with uh, 2,000 viewers just ended. So that's kind of why everybody decided to join us. Well, uh, welcome, everybody. I'll just spend a quick bit of, uh, like, I don't know, 30 seconds explaining what's happened so far. We're literally three hours into the game now. Uh, that's all we've done so far. Um, it, it's actually going really well. We've, we've not failed any missions at all so far. And most of them have been good to excellent. We are playing a veteran Iron Man game. I've got a bit of experience with XCOM behind me, so uh, it's it's going well. 
basically. So, uh, so welcome all the new people who have decided to join us today. Thank you for joining us. Let's see whether or not we can do anything else before we carry on here. I think we're good. The only thing that we need to do is change the names of a couple of our soldiers because we have a couple of donations. Big Barry the Bastard uh, can be Kibway here. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. Character info. Big Barry. Confirm that. Last name. The Bastard. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Big Barry the Bastard is uh, is set up and ready to go. He's from South Africa, and he is male. That's fine. Uh, he actually looks all right as he is. We'll change his colors, though, because as always, we like to uh, make them look really special. Let's go with something a bit different. Let's go with this kind of like... He can be the olive dude, because that's that's pretty cool. There we go. Uh, and weapon color also with the olive color as well, please. Thank you. Fantastic. And finally, before we carry on and start scanning, Zhuan Li Fong here, who is our last person who hasn't been named yet, is going to be Shenanigans. Uh, so let's go ahead and customize here, and we'll just do what we did with the mining and have the same name twice. Shenanigans. Like, oh, it's going to have to be Shenanigan. And then just an S. S. Shenanigans. <laughs> because otherwise it's not going to fit. Shin, two N's, A-N-I-G-N-S. Two N's, A-N-I-G-N-S. Yeah, that's it. That's the only way we can fit the name in. <laughs> oh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Crusader65 says this stream's quality is much better. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. I have no idea who was streaming before me um, and why you guys have all joined me. But the fact that you think this stream is, uh, is good makes me very happy. So thank you for that. Shenanigans. I'm going to assume it's a guy. Let's assume. Let's assume everything. Uh, make them a guy. And let's go ahead and change the armor color here. And then we are absolutely done. Uh, let's go with this kind of like... What do you think? What do you think? Let's go with... Uh, I don't know. Like a like a sort of a, a, a gray. Like an off gray kind of color. Um, 52, wasn't it? I think. Close enough. That'll do. That's fine. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Everyone has got names now. Fantastic. Well, that's, that's all pretty straightforward, isn't it? So everyone's looking good. Let's go ahead and get straight back into the commander's room and do some more scanning. Uh, we've got another thing to do here. A black market in the wilderness near one of our havens. If we scan the area, we definitely need to scan the area. Oh, it's not too far away as well. That's really good. Okay. Do we want to go get some more supplies before we do that? No, I think black market is really important. So let's go ahead and do that. What we'll actually do is black market supplies and then probably end up going for the uh, the first mission, the Advent Black site. I want to do that before the Avatar project starts to uh, gain points if we can. We are currently low on scientists, so if we can find a scientist in the black market, that's what we'll do. Here we go. Black market has been successfully located. Market is open. No refunds. Is there anything we can sell right now? What are they interested in? They're interested in corpses... To be honest, I've got quite a lot of cash, so I don't really need to worry too much. Um, so we're not going to sell anything right now until we start to worry, uh, to, to, uh, to wander into money worries, I should say. Um, advanced agility, Illyrium crystals, alien alloys. We can get into Cyanox for 63. This is intelligence, by the way, not supplies. Uh, plated armor. Yeah, I really want plated armor. That's the one that I really wanted to get taken care of. And an engineer for 95. We could do both, actually. That would work out quite nicely. You can never have enough engineers and scientists, so we'll do that. He was quite cheap, actually. Um, oh, it's not quite enough. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, we'll leave that for now. Uh, I'll save the rest I've got, and we'll do another black market trip next month instead. That's fine. Okay. Let's go to the supplies, take care of this, and then we'll go to the uh, this black ops site that we need to try and take care of. And then after that, maybe make contact with, with uh, Mexico, maybe? New Mexico, that is. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Lumot, good to see you in the chat, my friend. Thank you for joining us. We can build the skull jack whenever you give the word. Proving ground is done. Okay, new staff slot available. Increases proving ground project speed. Let's go and view the facility. See what's going on inside here. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, we've got s the skull jack. Now this is the mission requirement, wasn't it? We needed to get the skull jack and implant it in someone's brain. Um, experimental ammo and stuff is not something we need to worry about too much. Let's get the skull jack underway then. That is something that we need to get done as quickly as we can, so we'll do that. Uh, and meanwhile, let's go ahead and excavate out the next one, I think. Alien machinery. 
Yeah, I think this is probably the best thing for us to do. Let's go ahead and get a engineer on this task. Oh, they're all busy. They're all busy. Never mind. <laughs> we won't be able to do that for now. But never mind. That's no problem at all. So that's it. Uh, engineering research. Everything's good. Back to scanning. Fantastic. Oh, this is going so well, guys. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Back to this service depot, which we've... We've actually managed to just do that instantly, as soon as I thought that it was going to take ages for us to do. So, let's have a look then. We've got Proving Ground, Power Relay, Guerrilla Tactics School, Alien Machinery, which is where we need to clear out, which actually we can now clear out immediately. Or actually, no, we want to... We wanna... No, we want to go ahead and get ourselves something on the, the building facility here. We don't have a laboratory yet, or a workshop. Um, we have the Advanced Warfare Center, we have the Resistance Comms, we don't have the basics. So let's do this. Laboratory. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I know. Calm down, weird lady. Can I go into my thing, please? Thank you. We're just going to spend the 80 supplies and upgrade the power relay. Uh, because that is apparently the best thing for us to do. So that's good. We've got laboratory being built. The alien machinery thing. Do we have to, do we have to wait for another engineer to be busy? Yeah. Okay. So we can't do that until we've got another engineer. So that's fine. Okay. I can't believe how well we're doing, man. This is awesome. And are we going to be able to finish this off? Oh, no, the advent. Oh, God. This is the Avatar project. Okay. They've made progress, which means we now need to prioritize the black site. We'll do that before we make contact with uh, with New Mexico. Okay, good. We've managed to get those, uh, those resources. And now we've got to go straight in for this mission. Supply drop will come in straight after this. Which is more money for us, more things that we can recruit, and 105 supplies in Operation Fire Saga, which is an investigate the Advent Black Site mission. Setting so let's do that. Oh man, Lubot uh, is in the chat. Uh, he's he's one of our moderators. Um, I'm just going to quickly have a conversation with Lubot. Lubot, do you realise that this game is like insanely different every time you play? Everything's like completely different. Just uh, just got to say that. And everybody else who's watching, um, we played a game over on the ASMR cast, which is another channel I, I work with. Um, and we started in Africa, and all the missions have been completely different so far. It's, it's just in, an entirely different game every single time you play, which is so good. Anyway, this is actually considered to be a difficult mission, uh, which is obviously a problem for us because we don't want to die. <laughs> but Boogie's still doing well. Swordy's fine. Hattrick's going to be here as well. Looks like he's been healed up. We've got uh, Moose here as well. Um, we're going to quickly remove Imani and just see who else is alive right now. So, Swordy is shaken. So, is it worth bringing Swordy with us? We can, we need a ranger. We ha <sighs> It's such a risky situation, but we need a ranger. So, we're going to have to. Um, do we want a second sharpshooter? Well, I guess that's the only thing we can do, is have a second sharpshooter. Um, we could take Zephyr with us, but no, I think we'll take Imani. That's fine. Okay. So... Before we carry on here, we need to just give our units a couple of items. For our legendary uh, swordy here, we should have somewhere uh, the ability to give him the... Let's have a look. Uh, primary weapon. And then his sword, secondary weapon. Oh, sorry, actually, actually, you already got it equipped. Look, I'll just go back to the shotgun. You can see that he's actually already got the new sword equipped. It's on his back right now. It has this stun lancer uh, addition to it. So it looks like that is something that just gets equipped no matter what. Uh, there was the basic sword, 3 to 5 damage. The new one is 4 to 6 with a 25 stun chance as well. That's going to be very useful. So it looks like we're good with that. So one swordy, two sharpshooters, a specialist, and a heavy. Let's get this done, shall we? Oh, God. I'm so worried. <laughs> Sean's actually glad he's not in the mission today. My God. Oh, man. This is going to be absolutely insane. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Okay, let's go ahead and begin the mission, shall we? Our contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Operation Fire Saga. The aliens worked hard to Recover any valuable information or items and extract all XCOM soldiers, so it's an extraction mission. I love that this guy like stares at the camera. It's so funny. Wilderness of Eastern US. Oh god. Okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Mighty Claw's like, time to stab some aliens. Fantastic. Okay. 
Well, let's wait for the loading point. Uh, this game has a bit of a weird frame drop when it's loading, but it does get it done pretty sharpish. There we go. We're in. Time to launch. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.